Happy Monday, my friends, and welcome to the final residential build, may I add, of Let's Build Newcrest, 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 Newcrest. <laughs> they just get more questionable, and it looks like I'm wearing lipstick again. I'm not, by the way. But it certainly <laughs> looks that way. Uh, welcome. Happy Monday, my darlings. Welcome to the final, final residential build of Let's Build Newcrest. This is the lodge house. Well, it's not yet because we haven't made a start. But this is going to be the lodge house. A huge Victorian family home in a different style to what we've done already. Um, something a little bit more low-key as in kind of low-lying, not too high. I think we're just going to stick with two stories for this house um, there is a story behind this house, as always, with these builds. There is a family moving into this house, as always, with these builds. Um, we're going to be... Uh, what I'm doing is a mother and son. Um, a mother and father. Um, they're of Indian descent, so they're from India. Um, well, one of them is from India. One of them is Indian, but was born in the UK. Um, she, they have t a daughter and a son, but they open the house out to people who are having a bit of a difficult time in life so almost like fostering that kind of way it's almost like a halfway house before they move into their own like residency they open up their house to people who are haven't really had the best start in life um and i thought that would be the perfect storyline for this we're, we're going to be moving eight sims into this lot but we're also obviously we're going to be building the making the family but we're also going to be making the four residents who have got their own kind of separate bedroom slash uh maybe like a kitchen like communal area for them as well i kind of liked that idea they bought this big house and it was just too big for the family and they were like well why don't we do this why don't we open it up to people who need the room and they're just very kind very kind people i'll introduce you properly to the characters tomorrow i'll actually make the characters tonight and get that done i didn't want to do it on the first build I actually wanted to kind of get a feel down for the actual building itself before we went in to make a family, which is a different way of doing it. But I think because this is quite a different collection of Sims, I kind of wanted to go about doing it this way. So that's what we're going to do, my loves. I just thought that was a really cool idea. Let me know as, um, if you've got any ideas for the four. Never Don't mind about the family because I've got the family planned and I know their backgrounds. But the four people that are going to be moving in, they're going to be either teens or young adults. Some, they come from like broken homes. And if you've got any ideas, then feel free to flop them down in the uh, comment box because you know I love an idea or two. You really do. Now, I went ahead and like picked out the kind of feel of what I want this house to go for. I'm hoping, I, I haven't tested anything yet. But I kind of got a palette together and I was like, yeah, this is going to look nice. And I'm hoping that these windows kind of can go quite near each other. Oh, I don't know. I wanted to put them on a bay window. Um, hopefully this works. So this is my plan. Let's get down to the level we are building on. Let's get the lighting up to the bright daytime. Dead time. And make a start. Make a start, my love. Um, this was very weird to me recording. <laughs> Even though it's only been two days. Main reasons being I've been in a Last of Us 2 hole for the past two days and I'm having the time of my life. I must say that game is just everything that I wanted it to be and more. <laughs> Let me know if there's anybody else out there who's playing it. I'd be very interested to know. Um, yeah, I'm. it's amazing. Honestly, incredible. Uh, we're going to put that there. And my thoughts were this is going to be the kind of access into... Um, Maybe I can get rid of this then. I don't want that right on the corner though. In fact, I can easily put this here. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be the access into the kind of, not rented out accommodation, but the halfway house is what we're going to call it. The, the lodge. That's why I wanted to call this a lodge because it's almost like these people are kind of lodging here, waiting to move on to start their lives somewhere else. I just thought that was a very nice idea and I was completely here for it. Okay. Right, we're going to come there. I want this to be a double-fronted Victorian property. So if I can do that, maybe come out that much here. Oh, not you, my darling. 
hopefully that door will well it will because it can fit anywhere now which is just a game changer okay and then same again here oh please fit please fit please fit oh you're not going to be equal um i'm just going to move this lot along one because it needs it right if i can move you to there yes there lovely and then i can come out one there oh you absolute gemstone we're going to concentrate on the front facade today probably um and we'll make a move into the back and stuff tomorrow and get the exterior done because i need to get a good floor plan mapped out for this uh so hopefully it will work right let's test out what i wanted i should have tested this out before we started to be honest with you but sometimes it's fun to do live isn't it i was really worried i wasn't recording then and i'm just talking to myself <laughs> I hope you've all had a good weekend. What have you been up to? Let me know in the comments, please. This instant, I would like to know. Oh, I kind of like it. Ooh. Ooh, I know they're different windows completely, but I'm kind of there for it, to be honest. Yes, Queen. Okay. Yeah, I am... Um... Took inspiration from a house near me for this one, uh, which is, yeah, this is kind of taking inspiration from a house near me. I'm not going to put a photo of it up anywhere because that's a bit weird, <laughs> um, considering it's like near me and it's, yeah, I think that's just a bit strange, to be honest. Um, I don't think I'm going to bay window at the top. I think I'm going to keep it flat at the, flat, like, like this at the top and put roof line there. Um... Will these go up yet? I'm hoping they will. In my head, it's, they said it... In my head, my head was like, it will work. But I'm hoping that it's going to come to fruition. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, that's an absolute dream already, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, darling. It's an absolute dream. Um. Yes. Okay. There and there as well. We'll flop these onto each corner. Oh, I do believe so. I'm not going to put any pillars on the um, bay windows at all because I hate the way that pillars sit on like a diagonal wall. It just it just throws me right off. I might actually put a little lip over the top of that. I might actually do that, you know. Why not, eh? Why not? Yes. Okay. I'm not pleased with the amount of space we've got in the front here at the minute so i'm just going to move it back hopefully i'm i'm not too worried about a back garden as nice as it would be to get a back garden in this place uh i'm just going to pretend that these this house was extended over time maybe is that any better that's a bit better that's a bit better it's not perfect but it's a bit better it really is right let's get you going on here just get you boxed in first my love Okay, and we had that sandstone wall. I almost want it to look like the stone that they use in the houses in Bath, which is a place in the UK. It's very, they're very similar to this, kind of like Bath stone, but I want it just a little bit darker, I think. I think so. I think this is what the feel I want to do. I always go for grey, so this is the reason I'm kind of picking this here. I'm not liking that archway with it. I just wanted to throw a bit more red over to this side, but I don't think I'm feeling that archway anymore. Maybe because it is red. What if I just change it for white? Oh, that's that's semi-better. It's making the door look brown in there, which is not what I wanted. Um, I am going to do a roof here. I wasn't going to put a roof on this bit, but I think I am. I'm going to... What orientation? Uh, why are you not spinning around? There we go. Um, I kind of want to just... Maybe keep that edge out. No, I think we should tuck both of the flaps in, to be honest with you, because it's very rude when there's flaps out. <laughs> this is a flap-free environment, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm such a child, aren't I? Such a child. I'm not enjoying these now. I'm not enjoying them on the edges of the building. I think we can just keep them uh, on these little entrance moments. Yeah, I think so. Unless I can get a nice stone one. I mean, the only stone one that I ever agree with is this one. But it... Oh, that's not bad. It doesn't... Let me just see on my other monitor. Mm -hmm. I mean... 
I don't like that, that's for sure. That's for certain. I wish we could have some more, like, ornate, Victorian-y looking pillars. I know this isn't Victorian, but I don't know. More castle-looking pillars, then. Maybe that's a better word to use. I would like to see it. I would. Right now. Right now. Okay, I kind of feel like to make, to start work on the facade, I need a roof. But until we've gone backwards, um and sort of picked out the size of this place. I can't really put a roof on it yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to go and get a floor plan mapped down off of camera and then I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so we've made a little bit of progress. I've had some thoughts, some thoughts and ideas and I'm kind of here for them. Um, first off, I'll go down to the actual, oh, go down to the actual ground floor level in the house. So this is obviously the entrance hall coming in there. There's no doors or archways in just yet. Uh, this is the kind of family's area to the house. So the family have got their own sitting room. They've got, a, I'm going to make this into like a study um, slash library, like an area where the family can come and hang out. This is going to be the kitchen diner area with the downstairs toilet. This is going to be the communal kitchen for the... Um, I don't know what to call them. We're going to call them the lodgers. We're going to call them lodgers that stay here. Um, this is their kind of communal kitchen area where they can come up from this basement area, which is where their bedrooms are going to be housed. So they've got four bedrooms down here, plus a bathroom. I'm kind of feeling the vibe of pretending that these used to be old air raid shelters or also maybe some old stables as well. So maybe they've been used for lots of things over the years. Um, I've kind of got inspiration from that because I don't, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, was it Instagram I put it up? I think it was. Oh no, it wasn't. It, it was on the community tab here on uh, YouTube. A few weeks back, I had an old air raid shelter demolished in my garden um, and it was just so well made. Obviously, it would have to be to withstand what was happening. Um and it was solid. So I kind of took inspiration from that and thought, why don't we pretend that these could have been old air raid shelters that have been kind of um, converted into separate little lodging houses? And I kind of like that idea. I really do. But I thought that would be quite a cool way to kind of separate off the, the family area with the other family area <laughs> or the lodgers. And then upstairs, there's three big bedrooms plus a bathroom on this side as well. Um, and I'm going to make this either into a balcony space up here. So some more outdoor spa space because the family have only got this small area here. Uh, even though they will mix together, I won't lock any, lock any doors or stuff. Um, I kind of wanted them to have their own kind of separate area. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the vibe. Okay, right. We're here for it. We're going. We're carrying on. It's going. It's lovely and it's done. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> okay, right. What I'm going to try to do here is wiggle that to this needs to be a little bit more low level like let me why is why is my roofs always broken i would like to know maybe a bit higher than that again things might change off of camera with this build you know what i'm like by now i'll look at it off camera and think Ugh, it's disgusting definitely want a black roof i really want a dark roof on top here i'm just thinking this is maybe a little bit too short I kind of wanted the profile line to be a lot wider. I could do that, but it's got this overhang here um, that I'm not that keen on. I don't think it would work that way. I do not think it would work that way. Okay. Okay. Thinking. Thinking, thinking. Let's concentrate on the front facade first before we go back there. Get a feel for things. I definitely feel like some dormers would be looked great on here the roof's probably a fraction too short i do want that low-lying victorian villa-esque looking at roof line though right let's pick the tiles first so i want black tiles black slate um let's have a look at you i mean that's not too shabby that is not too shabby at all that is what was what is throwing me off is the uh Maybe I could shorten that down there and then that would give me a chance to bring this back a touch. I mean, that is a small outside space now, but it only needs to be a balcony area. I think this may work. The balance is a lot better, actually. Yes, that's much better. That's not throwing me off anymore. 
Okay. Yes. I'm thinking... I don't think we're going to get any matching dormers. We might do. But I, I, I'm not 100% um, sure on it, to be honest with you. I think it needs to be a pointy roof and then that limits our options greatly. It really does. Um, I mean, no. I hate the way that those don't sit into the roof unless it's a very high roof. And the blue windows on them as well. It just throws me off and I don't like it and I'm not doing it. Moving on. Maybe I can make my own. I mean, I could only... I could do two. Do like one there. Maybe bring it out a bit further, actually. Um, Just a little smidgen further, if you would, my darling. Let's have a look at you. Um, I think if I can do something with the windows, which I'm... I mean, the roof, which I'm going to try now, live. What I'm going to try is... Bring in those, tucking those flaps in, giggity. Is two enough? Yeah, I do think it is. Um, and then to stop that like weird lip thing coming down there, this is what I tend to do. I tend to pull this all the way back, make sure you've got this on a, uh, with no kind of like edge to it, like I just did then by holding shift down, copy this, put that one there, um, tuck both flaps in, giggity. And then whiffle that up like that. Lovely. And then I'm going to do this one in the middle here. Like so. Oh, maybe not on that side. So I'll tuck both of these flaps in. Giggity, giggity, goo. And then this one here. And then the end one on the end bit here. Hopefully this is going to look okay. I've got a feeling it will do. I do have a feeling it might. Um, Can we just have one edge? Like, I don't understand why it doesn't show me where it's going. Like, I don't understand this bug. Like, am I the only one having that bug? I always complain about it. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Oh, I don't know if I want to do three. <laughs> Dumb! Um, I'm going to test out three off of camera, actually. Let me just get some of this on. Let me see what that... Yeah, I'm going to test out a few more. One second. Oh, that's it. Yeah, we went for four instead. Above each window, it just looked very nice and symmetrical. And I'm kind of there for that. Don't know about you lot, but I am. I really am. We're going to have a big chimney from either side as well, I think. Um, Or maybe we could just do like a big... No, we can't get two there. That's a shame. Oh, we'll, we'll just do two from each side. We'll be greedy and we'll have two. Okay, so next. Uh, we're going to put this one into these areas. Uh, I'm going to... Pull this down at a comfortable level. I'm not going to do this, I don't think. Let's have a look. Let me have a look at that. Oh, no, actually, I am going to do that. And then copy that one again over to this side. Lovely. Obviously, lose, using the same roof trim from the top there. Let's get that on there for the minute. Yes, I enjoy that. I do, I enjoy it. Uh, we'll get the... Roof trim's on as well. Let's get these onto those bits there. But yeah. I'm liking that. I am. I like the contrast between the like warmer stone with the black and the white and the red. I wish there was more red. I could do that with flowers though. We could climb up red. <gasps> flowers on the... Well, that's what we're doing, aren't we? To be honest. <laughs> um, But yeah. I'm interested. Very interested to see what you think the lot... Oh, who's going to be moving into here lodger wise um i would imagine this family being very kind very very kind um huge thing family are for them as well which uh i love i love that i love that idea can we whiffle this up to the top we can so we're going to oh are we because i'm going to be putting a trim on that can we do we can do a medium height trim what would you look like on here love not too shabby. I'm not mad at that, actually. What other... God, you don't come in very many nice colours, do you? For goodness. What about just a normal... Nah. Black? I mean, we could do a black trim. What about black and white? What did that look like, then? Eh, I kind of prefer just the white one. 
Yeah, I think I'll... Do I do it all the way along? Yeah, I kind of just like it on that bit, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think I'll just keep it to that bit. I'm not enjoying that there either. I think this needs another... A very dare you. I think this needs like another roof line on top here. Just to bring another really interesting shape here. So maybe just using like this. Whiffling that into place there. And bringing that down just to there. Look at that. Oh, yes. Let me just get this level right. I'm trying to mirror it with these up here. The angle, anyway. Yes, that's it. Oh, that's the ticket right there, my loves. That is the ticket. Right, and I'm going to flop you into there. And put you into there as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of... This is, this is becoming... This is becoming what I want it to be. Which is lovely. Which is, I just love when that happens. I really do. Yes, I do believe so. I might just whiffle this just down just a little bit more. Just so it's not creeping into that window at the top there. No, I prefer it at that angle. <laughs> I'm such a fuss ass. And I'm very indecisive today. So warnings to all of you. Warnings. Let me just try these windows in grey. Grey and white. No. I don't know, actually. That's quite nice. Let me have a little look. It's just softening. I won't be able to match in these there now, though. No, I won't be able to match them in. I mean, I kind of like that with the grey. I mean, we could just leave them white. Yeah, they haven't got like a... They've got a... They just change the colour of the frames or they go to these tones here, which aren't the right ones there. Um... I do like them in grey. I will admit it. I will admit it. Um, okay. Okay. Right. I need to have a little think about things. One second. Okay. So, fireplaces. I'm going to see if this is their main living area, isn't it? So, if this can kind of act as a fireplace here, what point would that bring me out to? Not too bad. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice, actually. Can we do the same on this side? No, because it's... Um, well, we could just have one fireplace. <laughs> uh, first world problems, Aiden. First world problems, indeed. Yeah, maybe not up that high, but definitely... Definitely feeling the fireplace moment. I really am. What about using the new... What? Let's have a look at you. No. That's too modern. I love this chimney, though. I can't wait to use it in one of my builds. Ooh, this one looks nice. And then I'll half wall in this little bit here, like I usually do with a lot of my chimney breasts. If I ever say bro breasts like that again, feel free to slap me across the face. Right. Yeah, I think so. We haven't painted the inside of this. I can see you creeping there, you shitty little bit of white. And you. And you. Any more? There we go. That stone's really nice. Should we try all that stone just to see? We're going to do it live. We're going to do it live because it's only right. That stone does look really nice with it. Maybe I could just... No, I kind of like it. I'm liking this one as well. But I don't know. I kind of like this as well. They're the story of my life. The decisions of it. I kind of prefer this one, I think. I think I'm going to use this. I mean, that bath stone is lovely. But I don't know. I just This one here looks a bit more rustic to me. What other tones is this coming in? I remember it being quite limited. <gasps> oh, I did say I wasn't going to do grey, but... Oh, I don't know. Is this... Oh, that looks really lovely. You look very nice and I'm definitely thinking about it. I'm preferring that, I think. I don't know. It just gives me a bit more of an impact. I think I'm going to do the grey stone. I love how I was like, I always do grey. Let's do something different gray <laughs> but it's what happens when you build organically i don't know that i i can just see that being here a bit more than the creamy looking one 
Yes, we're going to do that. This front bit in the, like, this here, I want this to be kind of mostly hidden by a big, huge hedge anyway. And just have this as the kind of entrance area here um, with a path kind of here. So no kind of main sort of, like, fence to the this area. I'm kind of feeling that. So I will need to go into debug, but in fact, I'll do that now. Yes, using this hedge from debug, I mean, it's not going to be great for thumbnails and whatnot. So I might just like maneuver it a little bit for the thumbnail because <laughs> the house is going to be practically hidden. But I kind of, I'm there for that idea, I think. Just having this whole front area kind of like hidden behind this big hedge with just a little entrance here. Oh, I'm for it, I tell you. I tell you now I'm for it and I'm for it. We're going to do it, my loves. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling that. That's very realistic, actually. Very realistic indeed. Right. Okay. So, let me see this little pathway we got going on here. Of course, you're not going to be in the middle, you little shit. Maybe using something along might like this would that go well with this stone i mean it's not too bad let's have a look let me get that grid off so i can see Ooh, not really not really what about you i mean that there is going to give me the vibe oh yes i think we will i think we will and then here we're going to do the main entrance over well the entrance to the house even there yes i like that as well so what i'll do down this way is place in some of those not these hedges but the the smaller versions or the ones that look quite similar to them uh like these i mean that's sort of like them isn't it yes that's sort of like them we're gonna do it because it's sort of like them and if i can whiffle these into place here like so yes that gives me the vibe i could even uh, no, not really. I could size it down. Oh, just spun around then to excuse one um, and flop another one here. I might have to maneuver these hedges up a little bit closer this way. Come to daddy. Oh, God, never say that again. Never, ever say that again. <laughs> I can get rid of you now. Uh, I'm going to put a nice big tree in the front of this house as well. Oh, yes, that's giving me the vibe. And I'm here for it. I really am. Yes. We're not going to concentrate on the back yet. We're going to get to that tomorrow. But I'm going to concentrate on the front area here, I think. Oh, I'm feeling this. I would I would imagine they would have a fountain here for some reason. This gives me major fountain vibes. So I'm going to brick all of that area in there. Yes. Maybe a bit further here as well. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's much more substantial. Um, and then I'm going to flop these all the way along here. Yes, 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 queen. And uh, maybe this was like, maybe this house was like an old vicarage or something back in the day. I kind of like that storyline as well. Because it just reminds me of an old vicarage house. Yes, I'm feeling that. Fountain here. So let's get to, I think just that base game one would look nice here. Uh, oh, I mean, that's a bit too, that's a bit too big that. It's very nice, but I think it's just a little bit too big for here. I was thinking more along the lines of this one. Mm, can we do the big one? Can we? I mean, it's not too big, is it really? We could flop it here like so. Uh. Yeah, I don't mind that. I do not mind that at all. Okay, my mind's going to flick off to somewhere else and start detailing. As it normally does. I'm thinking these... Yeah, I'm thinking uh, these core balls. Yes, okay. So we'll do one kind of on each edge of where a roof line kind of meets, which would be lovely. Lots of red flowers up the front of this house as well. I still think this would look great with red flowers, even though we've kind of cooled down the main um, tone of the house now. Oh, I'm feeling this already. I tell you that much. I tell you that much, my darlings. Feeling it. Um, oh my god, I've completely forgot about this as well. I should have said this in the beginning of the video. Now, I've had ideas. 
I've had an idea and I want to run it by my beautiful community before I go ahead with that idea. Um, you know, I was like, we're going to build Glimmer Brook next. Don't worry, we're still going to build it. But my thoughts were, why don't we do like a Let's Build series where I'm kind of just going around all of the worlds at once <laughs> and building and making characters that way. And then in the end, we'll have this like huge save file uh, where it will come together as a complete Sims 4, all of the worlds. Uh, what do you think about that idea? Um, I, and it might mean like if we're really enjoying building one world, we'll stay there for a bit longer and build like another house in Glimmerbrook after we've just done one. Do you get what I mean? Just because I don't want to be... Glimmerbrook is going to be this kind of fantasy element world with kind of witches and all of that good stuff. But I don't... That kind of limits the amount of uh creative families i can like have in my head like realistic families and whatnot what do you feel about that idea let me know in the comment box below i'm actually going to do a post actually a community post uh just to kind of run it by you guys and see what you guys think i think most of you will be up for it because it's I, in my eyes it sounds it sounds good it sounds fun oh god that's brought that to life that has i tell you love a corbel do love a call but i'd like to see some more corbels actually please so are they floating are you floating no they're not floating yeah but, but yeah i just feel like that idea would be a lot better because we can like flick in between windenberg do a family there and we can also help connect all of the characters in as well so all of the characters from let's build new crest can be we said that Barbara was going to have a house in Windenburg. We can build her house in Windenburg. You know? Let me know what you think about that. I'm kind of here for it. Won't lie. Right. I'm not enjoying this. I think this needs to go over the top there. Yes, it does. Do we want this here? In fact, it does look better without it. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. We do not need you today. Um, and then we're going to flop more of these above here. Here, here, and here. But um, also, I will get, obviously, I'll get new crest done first and get the save file and stuff up um, before we go on to the next one. But I just wanted to, I just thought that was a good idea. And I can't believe I forgot all about telling you guys before the last minute, to be honest. It's quite rude, isn't it? Isn't it? Very rude. Right, I am going to put this here though that was just weirded me out for some reason then yes that's better oh that's better that is okay right bit of terrain paintage i'm thinking just solid dark mud all the way down i just think it would suit being like this underneath these hedges yes all the way along there and the same here as well. That would look cool. Uh, we're going to put a tree out the front as well. I do want quite a big tree in the front. Yeah. Oh, where am I going to put that? I might have to like intermingle it in here somehow. Unless we can actually use the smaller fountain. I can put it here. I just think a tree would look really good in the front yard here. Like a big oak tree. Oh, I tell you what, I was right. Oh, do you know what? It looks nice in the in amongst the hedges. Oh, I'm I'm for that. It's not creeping in anywhere, is it? It doesn't look to be. Oh, it is a smidgen. Look, you little shit. I thought you were in perfectly, and you lied to me. Maybe to there. Are you creeping in anywhere, Mister Tree? Nope. Yes. Okay, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I think what we're going to do now, what we're going to do now, <laughs> I think I'm going to just terrain paint underneath these little hedges here quickly. Just like so. Lovely. And then I'm going to put in some solid looking stone just underneath of this area here. Just to make it look like it is on a solid ground. I don't like when concrete or brick or stone looks like it's growing out of mud. We're not growing, but you get what I mean, hopefully. 
Uh, I'm going to pop you in there. And also get you on there. And in here. And I'm going to put a light in here just for the minute. Just so I can see what it looks like from the outside. I will change the light. I'm just going to put a saucer light in here for the meantime. Oh, that's better. Yes, that's giving me the vibe. Absolutely there for that. Um, I'm going to start getting some of that red flower ridge up onto this corner. I want to build this corner out in that red flower, I think. I cannot remember where that flower came from, actually. Um, I think... Oh, Jungle Adventure. It was Jungle Adventure. Oh, I do believe so. Ooh, what about pink? No, because it's got red on it. White would look good as well, but we're going to go for red. Stop being so indecisive, Aiden, and just stick with one thing. For goodness. Where did... It... Oh, it's there. <laughs> I was like, where's the red flower? I can't see red. It's because it's not selected, you silly bum. Right, there to there. Lovely. You, up to there. And to there. Lovely. Oh, this is going to work a right treat, I tell you. Yes. And then I'll do one in underneath just there, just lightly. Trying to make this look as natural as we can. So if I put that one there and then go up to the top of it there. Oh, that's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Yeah, just onto the corner. I think just onto this corner would be all it would need. We've got to make sure that it's not creeping into uh, the inside of the house though because that would be a travesty it really would right and then maybe just one more just at the top here just so it looks like it's oh i like that yes yes i'm happy with that and maybe using the base game flowers in red just underneath some of the windows just to frame that in even more i mean that does look rather lovely but i think we have to do two my loves one and two um maybe not red actually maybe white i could have just changed them but let's have a look um is that too high i feel that's too high i think i need to put them in myself i know they're going into the roof line and whatnot but shush Yeah, I think white. I do, I think white. We're here. Let's have a look at that. Yes, I like that a lot. I do, I think that's very nice. Very nice indeed. I am going to change this wall trim to maybe a black. Yeah, to a black. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I think the roof line needs some detail as well, like this. Is this too big? Let me go into the front and have a look. Yeah, that one's a little bit too big. So maybe using the other... No, I don't like that one. <laughs> I love the way I'm arguing with myself. <laughs> it's like, no, Agent, that's awful. Right, we'll do this one all the way along. All the way along to here. Ah, I, I completely forgot to say thank you as well for the support on uh, the block. The little like mini machinima let's play thing that I'm doing. I'm having so much fun creating that. And I know I said it'll only be like five parts. Well, I think we might carry on with it. I think what we'll do is just bring out lots of different uh, kind of let's builds the more we're doing the builds, if you know what I mean. So the more we're let's building somewhere, we'll we'll go through and then do a, um, a like an episode on a character that we've really enjoyed and but then we'd have to change the name of it. It wouldn't be called The Block then. Uh, I don't like that after placing them all there. Don't like it. Sorry. Bye. I think just on these front ones. I could probably stick with the uh, default sizing as well. Let's have a look at that. Nah, I still think it needs to be sized down. I do. Hello, Aiden. Welcome to Indecisive Aiden. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. Why do you always take so long to just decide on one minuscule little bit of detail? Well, main reason is I'm a Virgo. Um, and it's what we do, to be honest. And I'm chatting with myself. <laughs> well, 
You've got to have a chat with yourself sometimes, haven't you? <laughs> oh, God. God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for me. No, that's not going to work there. It doesn't really matter. That still looks great. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, just the shorter little versions. I enjoy that. We're going to put a little weather vane central on the building. Right at the top there. Oh, that's stunning. Yes. Okay, well, we've made a start, as we normally do in the first part of the, uh, the first, like, as we normally do in the first part of a build that we've just started. Uh, we kind of just get a feel for it. I'm feeling this house now. I'm, I'm feeling the characters that could be in here. And I'm really enjoying how it's looking from the front. Love all of this bit of the front here. Obviously, tomorrow we'll get in and we'll start detailing the rest of the exterior. Uh, and maybe make a start on the gardens if we got time. Um, but, but yeah, I'm feeling this. We've still got to put a nice roof line on here and stuff, obviously. But I think we'll, we'll get on with that tomorrow, my loves. But yeah. Oh, she looks nice in that view. Oh, she does. She looks plenty gorgeous in that view, I tell you. But yes, anyway, thank you so much for coming today. Don't forget to leave me some lovely comments in the box comment box below plus your thoughts on my idea of kind of going around all of the worlds at once and just building them that way and getting the characters coming through in that kind of vibe i'd be really interested to know your thoughts on it because yeah i just really would but yeah i'll be back tomorrow um finishing off at this beautiful building but other than that take care of yourselves and i will see you then goodbye